Kanda. We karu salamana katale beno hoshatande. Zufe pina mana sute kuna nande hukiru talasi ata. Shile kuso sakubara na hasike libro no hoshata. Kikun talabra da kisi. There's someone here watching me right now. When you're walking, look as if. Is he a tried boy? Look as if you cannot, you cannot stand firmly. Like especially your left leg. Look at something spinning you down. Karu talama. Receive healing right now. Ma tole bro ho shatana. Zeze ko talala bro de ed karu se nemana. Is there anyone who believes God for healing right now? As I start, I prophesy to you right now. Receive healing. Receive healing, healing, healing of arthritis. God is healing arthritis right now. Eko shataba. God is healing arthritis right now. In the name of Jesus. All your journeys. Kaburo da kichata. Receive, oh God, divine healing right now. Ebe no so kotona yanda. Thank you, Lucy Karabadahaya. Thank you for healing. Blessed be God. In the name of Jesus. Jakatabara. There is no desire compared to you. Father, will bless your holy name, will give you praise, will give you honor, will give you adoration. Hallowed be your name, O God. Thank you, o God, for a set time like this. Lord, touch my mouth, O God. Let my mouth speak accurately, O God. Lord, my God and my Father, I am praying and asking, O God. That as many that is washing right now, and those going to wash us later. Lord, the same power, the same donor will flow to them now. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, when a time we enter the month of September, it looks as if we are now so close to December. As a matter of fact, the day we enter 1st of September, the month, the days and the weeks begin to run fast. It is shocking now that we're already in half of the month, and just like yesterday, that we enter the month of September. Before you two weeks from now, I believe two or so weeks from now, we'll be talking about entering uh, the month of October, then November, then December. But good news is that God will give you an early Christmas gift in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, I will be preaching on a topic titled Supernatural Shift. Oh, God's going to hit you right now. There's somebody having yeah, your, your your chest is so, is it so tight? Most times, look, I see they put heavy load in your chest. So, this, this Sunday service. It's, it's, it's a healing service. You lay your hand, you that person lay your hand upon that chest right now. Katale Christoshata. Zeziga Konamaya. Lord healing on that chest right now. I don't know the complication this person is having, but the person is having a, a real chest pain. Lord healing on that chest now. Healing, healing, healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my God and my Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, most time, God, the, the Holy Ghost interrupt us when we are about to preach or lay foundation so he, he he can decide to come in a different way now like i said we're preaching on the message title supernatural shift and our test is taken from the book of haggai chapter 2 i uh, we read for mm, verse 5 let me read verse, verse 5 now those of you who uh you don't know how to get to haggai especially if you're not using your your gadget if you're using a bible like i do you need to go to Old Testament. Everybody can know how to get to Matthew. When you get to the book of Matthew, you'll flip back what you see Zechariah and other, then you see uh, uh, Haggai. Now, Haggai chapter 2, verse 5 says, According to the word that I, I covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt, and so my spirit remained among you, fear ye not. This is an encouragement word. And in verse 6, it begins to say, say For thus said the Lord of hosts, Yet once it is a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. And the beginning of say something, the shift in verse 9. It said, The glory of this latter house 
uh, shall be greater than the former one. It's a shift now from the old to new. All right? There's a shift for where you know before to where God desire you to get to. I said, the glory of this house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, says the Lord of hosts. In this place will I give peace. In this place will I give peace. Not tension, not confusion. In this place will I give peace. And it says something profound in verse 10. It says, In the fourth and twenty days of the night month, which the month are when the night month of the year. And the second year of Dazros came, the heroes came, the word of the Lord, Bahaga, the prophet. Now, before I continue, let me just lay a background of this. You remember that when the children of Israel was taken captive, they besieged Jerusalem. And when the enemy besieged Jerusalem, the uh, Bible said that Solomon's temple was destroyed and they scattered everything. Cut away with the gold and everything that Solomon built and dedicated to Yahweh. Now the world is wicked. The only thing that gives joy to the children of Israel is that temple that they can go to the temple and worship. And because when Solomon was dedicating the temple, he said, shall come to pass that anyone that stands in this house that call upon you, you will hear. And so the enemy don't want the people of Israel to go there and call upon Yahweh. As a matter of fact, the enemy want to deny the people of not having a, a place of, of communion with, with, with the Lord. Kashataba. When the Lord set a place of communion with you, you need to assess that place daily the time and seek him. And so the enemy came and besieged the temple, destroy everything, take people captive. And there was a prophecy before then that uh, the children of Israel would stay in Babylon in captivity for 70 years. And then after 70 years, that three score and 10 according to King James Version. And then after 70 years, that they will be delivered, they will take them back to the land. And people like uh, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, Dan, Daniels, and other people, some of them grew up in the captivity. They grew up in the Babylon. But somehow, uh, uh, people like Daniel understand the time and the scroll that he can look at the, uh, at the word of God and say, No, this is 70 years apart. Why are we still doing in Babylon? And if you read the book of Psalm, the Bible says that the time came they were mocking the children of Israel. And they will say, sing unto us one of the songs of Babylon. And they said, how shall we sing? Because they tried to teach in the Canadian language. How shall we sing the lost song in the strange land? And they begin to turn and begin to make some proclamation. Oh Lord, if I forget thee, let my right hand be cunning. If I didn't make you my, my chief job, my heart desire. He begin to make some confession that made them know that it's time for them to leave and go back to Jerusalem. And somehow the Lord Himself have mercy, had mercy upon them. And when they returned back, the first thing that came to their mind was to see how they're going to build back the temple of, uh, that Solomon built for Yahweh. And the elders then, they have some of the elders who came back, though some of them didn't die in captivities, they came back, they couldn't have strength to begin to build. So it was the youth now that begin to build. So when the Lord says, See, my smile, God is mine. So everything they need there will provide their for. All right? And, and they begin to build. Because there was a, there, there was a work came to them that this house will be built. He said, through prosperity shall my house spread abroad. And when they were building, and they were built to some level, some, the elders would say, no, this is not how Solomon Temple is. This, this, this was not there. This was not there. They would destroy and they would start again. And they would continue again and they would begin to, uh, they, they say, no, 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 no. The beauty was not like this before. We need to do it. See, if God is taking to a new shift, don't hang on to the old, old, old ways. If God says, I am taking you from analog era to digital, never hang on on the, digital, on the analog. He said, this is where we used to do it before. No. Things are changing. There's a shift in the realm of the spirit. There's a supernatural shift that you cannot understand God, how God moves. 
And so there was a lot of rivalry. There's a lot of confusion. There was a lot of delay in raising backs at the Solomon Temple. And the Lord had to raise up two prophets. Now, uh, Haggai was one of the minor prophets in the Bible. So the Lord raised up Haggai to prophesy to the youth. And the Lord raised up uh, Zechariah as an elder prophet to prophesy to the elder people. No wonder God opened the eyes of Zechariah and the beginning of the season, there are four horns who are scattered in Jerusalem that no one could stand up to begin to build. And God began to speak to Haggai and say, Thus says the Lord, that, true prosper, that this has will be. Look at verse what it said in verse 7 see, And I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come, and I will fill this house, this temple. With his glory, which is my glory, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The glory of the latter house shall be greater than the, than the former, says the Lord of hosts. When, Lord, when the Lord raised up a prophet for a generation, it's for a purpose. It's for the generation to understand what God is saying. Now, if you look at the Old Testament and New Testament, uh, in between the blank speed, uh, 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 Taylor John said that was those speeds about 450 years. There was God was silent, he couldn't speak to the people until Jesus appeared. So, so when God is silent, it's dangerous because you look as if we are fighting in the dark, we have no, we have no direction. But God is shifting someone to a place whereby he can get understanding. Hallelujah. Say to yourself, say, Lord, shift me to the, my desired places. Say, shift me to the place that I want to be in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Prophet Haggai was really a minor prophet that, and what some of the work he did was colossal. He, when he speaks, the people obey and understand him. You see, a history said that, a theologian said that the book of Haggai was written about 18 years after the return from Babylon. And so that means that uh, the, the Solomon Temple, they didn't start building it the day they, they returned back from, 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 from captivity. You need to know that prophecy come to them that we actually spend time to focus on God. What was he saying? They spent 70 years, but now 70 years is over. It's a new dawn. God had to shift them to a new place whereby they can experience his hand. It's like the children of Israel in Egypt. They thought they were enjoying Egypt. But God said, I promise you a new place. God is promising you that he's going to shift you to a new place. A place whereby, in fact, you, you have no prayer point anymore. A place whereby all your prayer is just praise. Oh Lord, thank you. Thank you for this. Thank you. I just thank you. Thank you for, you see, you have no prayer point. When you reach a place where you have no prayer point, then to begin to just thank the Lord, that is what God required us to do. When the glory of God appears to you, it is for a reason. One of the reasons is for a shift. When the glory of the Lord tabernacle you, is to shift you to the next level. We don't seek the glory of the Lord just to say, do you know I feel the glory of the Lord? No. The glory of the Lord came, it comes when the, a shift is about to take place. Most times we're in a crusade and, a, and in the midst of preaching, we could feel the glory of the Lord, the tabernacle, the presence of the Lord, so heavy. Now it's not the time you don't travelize that. You need to recognize when God is about to do miracles. I was preaching somewhere and it came to the middle of my message. I just walked to the images where they lay people, uh, people on, on a wheelchair, on, on, on stretcher then, who couldn't walk. And because I saw that the time I've come, the glory, I saw the glory, I sensed the glory. And I went there straight and began to lay hand upon them. And they would begin to get up, get up, get up. And they begin to walk. The old church was in our glow. When we get to the office, the pastor's office was in, how would give you boldness? I said, I can sense when the tabernacle glory comes, when they say sheep. If you miss the shift of God, I tell you, you have to wait for some time. It's like the angels are talking about the, the, the man on the pool of Bethesda. It's a certain time the angel come to stir up the water. 
whosoever that first was step into the water is healed. So you need to understand when God is, is the glory come, the tabernacle come, to shift you to the new level. Most times people who are believing God for truth of the womb, the devil works on them. The devil works on them when a time they mourn for them to conceive, that's the time they have to quarrel with their husband. They, really, they couldn't recognize the shift. Most times people when the time they for them to qualify for promotion, that's the time they want to misbehave in the office. And they instead of promoting them, they demote them. You need to understand the glory of the Lord. You need to understand the presence of the Lord. Moses saw the Shekinah glory of the Lord. And no wonder he said, Lord, if your spirit will not go with us, suffer us not to go. If your presence will not go, if your glory will not go, if your Shekinah glory will not shift out, don't bother us to leave. We need a supernatural shift of God to enter the new level. <laughs> so Moses saw change all over. Let me tell you, there's a grace that shifts men from one level to another level. And that grace is only demicide, demicide in God, kingdom. That grace shifts you from one level to another. May that grace locate you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now, one of the things that you experience, you could pinpoint when you send the shift of God. One of the things he gives you an internal joy. Joy unspeakable. You can't just explain, even though things have not speak up, you can't just explain why you are just excited. It's because the, the, the God is about to shift you to a new level. May the Lord shift you to any level. The second thing that you could discover, you begin to uh, do things with ease. Things that literally you could struggle to do. You begin to see yourself doing it with, with, with ease. A little bit effort, a man to, 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 to great things. Those are the signs to know that you are a new shift. The third sign is, is that uh, men and women begin to recognize you. You begin to wonder, oh, is it not the same me that I see doing the same thing before? Why is that that you recognize me now? Why? Because your time and your season of a shift are just kickstart. I heard about the, uh, what he said about uh, uh, TDJs. TDJ said he was preaching all the same message all, all the time. But one day, only somebody heard about his, 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 his message. I think uh, this TBN from fan of TBN also. They said, who is this man? Who is this young man? And they called him to interview him. And that blew up his ministry. So you, when you discover that people begin to seek for you, and Bible says all men seek for Jesus, that is for you to know there's a shift about to take place. You need to understand and jump into the train. It's like a moving train. One is take off, it can't stop again. Lord, let me experience this. This remaining month for the year to come to an end, let me experience this. Shift. Any time you encounter God or the supernatural shift, it comes with a new levels of life and experience. It comes with a new life. It comes with a new experience. When you're looking for a job and you got a job, a new experience of taking place. When you got married, a new experience of taking place. When you got pregnant, believing God for baby, you got pregnant, a new experience of taking place. When you put to bed, a new experience has taken place. So any time you have an encounter with God, it happens. And I had an encounter with God. You need to pick my message on Lord Thursday. And God, remember Hannah. And I had an encounter with God. He experienced a new, a new level. Elizabeth has an encounter with God. He experienced a new level. Sarah have an, had an encounter with God. He experienced a new level. Just one shift from God can pull you out of all the years of touring and struggling. Peter, uh, uh, Simon Peter said, we toil all night. We toil all night. Because Jesus was speaking to him after he had given his boat to Jesus to use. And he said in Luke chapter 5, verse 4 down to, to, to 11, and when he had given uh, his boat to Jesus to use, Jesus, okay, since you've given me, yet is, there's no one that will serve God genuinely and God and battle. No, it does not happen that way. When he has finished using the ship, God is not a user of men, but a maker of men. 
Let me repeat that again. God is not a user of men, but a maker of men. Men can use you and throw it away and forget about you, but not God. In God's calendar, in God's agenda, he, 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 it's when he, when he starts using you, he's about to bless you. And he spoke to Samuel Peter. Say, Samuel Peter, let down your neck. Simon was Peter was about to argue with Jesus. He said, this is not a time to catch fish. I am a talented fisherman. We only catch fish either, uh, 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 in the midnight or early in the morning. And he said, let down your neck. Because there's a shift. When Jesus spoke that word, he caught all the fishes all over to come to the shore. And Peter said, nevertheless, according to that word, that's what you say, don't argue with the, prophet, uh, the prophecies of God. According to that word, I will let down the net. The Bible says he let down the net. He caught multitude of fishes. The Lord is about to shift you to the place of abundance in the name of Jesus. That you will not beg anymore. This begging, eating, feeding for hand to mouth, and end of country, Lord, is a, the Lord is about to shift you to a new level in the name of Jesus. God shifting help us to navigate every storm and obstacle in our destiny. He help us to navigate every obstacle in our destiny. When God shifts you, it takes you to a place of peace. Bible says in the book of 1 Samuel, time will fail me to read it. For it says, Kish, his axe was missing, and his sons saw when to begin to look for the axe. The donkey. He came to a place and he said, Look. And the servant said, Well, he said, is there no a seer in the city that we can consult that can tell us the way? And he said, but how can we go and see a seer without a seer? When you always ask people to sow a seer, it's not because the prophet desired the seer, but because of that is your, your seek will abound and the great will speak. And they saw Samuel, which was called a seer. And Samuel began to speak to them. They said, today you're going to eat with me. And after that, he prophesied. He said, as you leave my prison right now, you're going to encounter God. There's a new shift coming to you that you will meet a, a bunch of a prophets and you begin to prophesy. And they will say, he saw also among the prophets. As from today, this new week will enter. I am assuring you that God will begin to do a new thing and begin to say, is this person also among these businessmen? Is your poor also among the millionaires? Why is the things working well for him? It is your season, right? But if you don't know Jesus, I want to give you time to give your life to Jesus. You're going to bow your head down and say, Dear Lord Jesus. You're going to say after me, Say, Dear Lord Jesus, you are a sinner that new repentance. Have mercy upon me, O God. Satan, I reject you. I declare my mouth that Jesus Christ died and rose up again. And I belong to Jesus. Jesus, thank you for washing with the Lord. Alone. Thank you for receiving my soul. Right now, I declare I'm sons and your God. Belong to you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for saving my soul. Jesus. Father, I thank you. I bless your name for this one. Taking the decision to follow you. Lord, I affirm their word, their confession of God. In the name of Jesus. Give them the grace to follow to the end. In Jesus' name. Now, if you are actually the reason why we came this Sunday to preach, please uh, do write to us our details are displayed as i was pushing uh, write to us and let us uh, send you some material and be encouraging you to keep you on track so that you don't skip out of this track in the name of jesus taking the right decision i said to you congratulations hallelujah now we 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 want to take an offering we want to take an offering this sunday morning if wherever you are you want to give an offering our bank is also going to pump up right now. Please take advantage of that and give your offering. Give your offering. Uh, if you live in South Africa, there's a banking uh, banking teachers there, even in Nigeria and some part of West Africa. You can take advantage of that. But if you don't live in all those region, you could also go to our website and go to Port Accord Donors. Follow the instruction there, drop your offering. I believe God that your offering will speak for you. Father, we thank you bless your name for the offering of your people. Let their offering speak for them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. The harvest is guaranteed in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me just prophesy to you. Father, I thank you. I bless your name. I give you praise. Lord, this word that came this morning is not in vain. I prophesy to your people.
that they will experience a new shift this month in the name of Jesus. This new week, O oh God, let there be a testimony in the name of Jesus. Lord, I call forth, O oh God, every prayer request, O oh God, that be praying since I look as if there's no answer. Let it be an answer right now in the name of Jesus. I declare victory, I declare victory, I declare victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that they desire, O oh Lord, by your mercy, let there be, O oh God, a demonstration of your power and supply in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, God, because testimony will enter the people's lips, including myself. In the name of Jesus. This is the week of God of our celebration. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now our books also uh, in Amazon also begin to round up our books in Amazon and other social media platforms. Please take advantage of them. We have a lot of time to there. Take advantage of them and buy the one you can. Or you can buy all, just buy all. Begin to read. A reader is a little. When you read, you are getting more, you are downloading more information into your, your system to take you to the next line. But the next line. We are waiting for your testimony. We can't wait. And wait to hear your testimony. Now we'll share it in this this uh, platform as well. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you in the name of Jesus. But we know we cherish you. Thank God for you staying up this time listening to us. Please do share this message. Uh, if you are blessed, we shall bless you. The, the message is a blessing to you. Share it to people. Also drop a comment. Let us know how to serve you better. May the Lord bless. May the Lord keep you in the name of Jesus Christ. But here this has a round up. No matter, no, no matter what matters, know that the single is allowed to work in your life. I see you on Thursday, and I say to you, Cha Cha, God bless you.